Hello, beautiful soul and welcome to the healed healer tarot my name is angel intuitive spiritual advisor teacher and healer thank you so much for joining me here on my channel where we learn grow and expand together working to raise the collective consciousness one unique soul at a time this is a timeless energy read for the soul sign of gemini gemini sun moon rising venus jupiter and mercury however i do set the intention that this reading may resonate with you wherever you may find Gemini placements in your chart. If you don't know your chart and your chart placements, you can get a free copy of your birth chart over at my website. And the information for that, along with a bunch of wonderful, great goodies, is listed in the description box below. Although this is a timeless energy read, we do draw upon the energies of the cosmos to help guide us like a roadmap towards your highest good and your greatest soul's vibration. So with that being said, beautiful souls, this is a general energy read, which means each and every message may not resonate with you fully, but I always set the intention that you will receive something out of this reading. So just take what resonates with you and leave what does not. All right, beautiful soul. We are going to tune in and tap on our energies together. I want you to take a deep breath in and hold that energy for seven seconds. I want you to release that energy and hold for seven seconds. And I want you to continue to breathe in and out and bring to your mind's eye what it is that you came to this reading for more clarity, more insight, and more understanding about. But I also want you to be open to whatever messages come through, for they are for your highest good and your greatest soul's vibration. All right, beautiful soul. So we're going to start in with seven more shuffles. For knowledge, wisdom, perfect self-expression, stability and security, power, refinement, Harmony and balance, prosperity and purpose. And so it is. Thank you, Spirit. I hope this reading finds you in sound mind, body, and spirit. I pray that you are well in all your ways. And let's jump right into your reading. Ooh, I love it, Gemini. Happiness, happiness, and abundance. This is also the energy of healing that's coming through for you. So you are in this period and time where you're really focusing on your healing, you're focusing on your prosperity, and you're focusing on your happiness. You're allowing the inner child within you to guide you towards the things that used to bring you joy, the things that used to bring you happiness, and you're rediscovering the kid within and what really fulfills you in life, what the whole purpose and meaning of life is for you is being highlighted at this time. What's on your subconscious mind? Yeah, being in your expressive power, like being in this very, very high vibrational energy, glowing, you know, very confident, very self-assured in your capabilities, talents, and skills in order to manifest your life. You're in the energy of the sorcerer and manifester where you're creating life of abundance and creating prosperity and opportunities for your continued growth. This is beautiful energy. In the recent past, you've been waiting for things to come together. You'd put a lot of work and effort in. Maybe you weren't seeing things or things weren't as happening as fast as you would have hoped or liked, but you are in the process of just continuing to visualize, continuing to focus, and continuing to see the potential that you have to offer, not only for yourself, but for the world. And you're also co-creating with Source and Spirit as long as 
because you stay divinely connected. And with this Queen of Wands energy with the sun, you are divinely connected and you're in the process of co-creating with source, which is very beautiful energy to be in. And look, what's coming in in your environment, in your future opportunities, tons and tons of opportunities that you are creating, right? You have to realize that you create from your thoughts, you create from your emotions, you create from your internal desires, your drive, but you also create from your efforts. So from all areas of your mind, your emotions, your thoughts, and your body, you create by the efforts that you put in, the places that you go, the people that you meet, the thoughts that you maintain in your mind and your focus intention and your will and you're creating a tremendous amount of blessings and opportunities for yourself in your life gifts are coming in from the universe as you continue to explore and grow you're on this path of spiritual growth and exploration at this time and look at this the star energy you can't make it up you're being divinely guided towards your highest, fullest potential, towards your highest fruition. This is all about you being authentically you and you shining as that authentic star. This is definitely more healing energy that's coming through for you. So this is definitely saying that after a rough time, right? Because the star comes in after the tower, after a rough time, you've pulled it all back together. You're working on healing yourself, healing your soul, but it's bringing you into your authentic self and it's bringing you into your authentic purpose doing within life what it is that you are meant to be doing being on track with your highest vibrational good and this is very positive very supportive energy and you still have a lot of hope for what it is that you're dreaming for and what it is that you want to manifest what's in your conscious mind yeah you're dreaming about your future you're dreaming about the things that you love, the things that you want to create, the things that you want to do, talent, skills, and abilities that you want to show to the world. You want to come out of your shell and really put yourself out on the stage and say, look, I have all of these wonderful skills and abilities within me, and this is my authentic self. There's this yearning to be authentic and pure. Just a sense of innocence and this innocent love for life that you have right now. And things are really opening up for you to show and express that love. Love for self means love for others. Very beautiful energy. But what's coming up as your block is the stage fright. Because now you're being recognized and seen for all of these wonderful skills that you have. And it's almost like you're afraid of people seeing you vulnerable and naked is the energy that I'm getting here. You don't want to be put on this pedestal or really, you know, looked at too intensely. There's a lot of light that's being shined on you. Maybe there's this sense of fear of success that you have going on that you need to overcome in order to have things come into full fruition for you. But victory and success is on the rise in either way because this is the energy of your path. So you're moving towards victory and success as long as you take this step towards fulfilling your emotional fulfillment. How are you being guided? You have some loving, supportive energy that's coming in around you. This could be mother, mother figure. This could also be someone that's a counselor, spiritual advisor, or a teacher. Someone that's giving you the information that you need to make you more confident in who you are, to make you feel like this queen of wands energy, because that's your subconscious mind. That's your ideal self, but you're showing up as a page, right? A little bit skittish, a little bit unsure, maybe a little bit um, were you novice in your experience? And so you don't see this full potential that the divine sees, that these opportunities are opening up for you, for you to step into your authentic path. But you're afraid, right? Because you don't feel fulfilled. This is your ideal self. This is how you're showing up. But there's some support that's coming in around you in the environment that's saying, look, I will teach you, show you and help build you to where it is that you need to be. All you have to do is be willing to put in the effort, willing to put in the work, willing to take that leap of faith. And your highest expression is the 
Ace of Cups. This is definitely going to heal you. It's going to fulfill you. This is something that's bringing in a tremendous amount of love and abundance for you. It's a very good place to be in. And the only obstacle is to get over your stage fright and your fear of failure. Once you get over that stage fright and fear of failure, you'll definitely be able to create whatever it is that you want to create. You're very creative. You're very talented. You have a lot of artistic skill and ability. And what you have, the world needs to see right? This is also your ancestors, your angel, and your guides are also protecting you and, and guiding you towards your greatest vibration. And then you have the energy of the sun. It doesn't get any more blissful, more blessed, and more abundant than that. This definitely lets you know that you have the loving support of the divine around you as well. And they're sending you the right people in your life to help you to grow. And there's abundance of opportunities that are here for you. Opportunities in love, opportunities in success, opportunities Opportunities of material gain, opportunities and happiness. And there's this sense of um, blessings and miracles, right? The Page of Cups talks about miracles and blessings that are coming in. But you have to believe in miracles, right? That's that energy of believing in miracles and believing in yourself. I love it. What you don't see coming in at the bottom of the deck is there's some changes that you need to make in your life. And one of the ones that I'm feeling is a change in perspective of what you deserve versus what you you do not deserve. You may have to organize, prioritize, and juggle some things in order to bring this victory and success all the way into fruition. But you're capable, right? You have what it takes and you can do what it is that you want to do. The two of pentacles for me oftentimes talks about having your own life in your own hands. You have your life in your own hands. It's based on what you do or don't do that determines the outcome. So now you're taking that ace of pentacles and you're actually looking over it. You're using it. You're plotting and planning with it and you're discovering how it is that you're going to invest this pentacle and what you want to see prosper and grow out of it. But there's still a little bit of confusion here, but spirit is saying that's okay. Tap into to your intuition, allow your inner guidance and your intuition to guide you. Don't be afraid of success. Don't be afraid of change is coming through very significantly here. There may be a sense of, of fear or a fear in, in, in your abilities, right? Like, you know, you lack the self-confidence with this page of cups that you have the ability to make this happen, but you do. And you just need to trust in yourself and be confident with that King of Swords energy is coming out. The King of Swords is very confident, very self-assured, very self-directed, very determined and will focus. He knows exactly what he wants and how to manifest it and how to go after it. And he cuts out anything that's in the way of that success. And so spirit wants you to be strong and confident in your thinking, have a clear laser focus, will of intention of exactly what it is that you want. Don't allow your noviceness or lack of knowing everything holds you back. Just know that you have what it takes to gain the knowledge and the insight that you need to move forward. And then there goes the energy of being in the flow. So you'll get all of the information, all of the resources, all of the support. The divine is aligning people, places, and things with you in order to help you through this process to your greatest vibrational good and to more growth and exploration in your life. And this is very beautiful energy to be in. I love it. Let's go ahead and pull you a chakra energy oracle card. I'm feeling a chakra energy oracle card on this read to really help you to understand the blessings that are opening up for you. Because if we don't take a leap of faith towards the blessings, then we miss them and this rotation and we have to wait for them to come back around but why should you have to wait when the time is perfectly now right perfectly now and two more shuffles give me a, a chakra message for gemini thank you spirit i am so grateful i'm going to give you a little something extra to go on with this reading before we get into your seven day forecast Inner strength, yeah. You have to tap into that inner strength. Tap into the inner strength and allow the inner strength to guide you. Have the confidence, right? That's tapping into that solar plexus energy and say have the inner strength and the confidence to guide yourself. And I believe this is the energy of 14. Yep. Yeah. 
That's that temperance energy, regaining balance and control of your material and spiritual world. And that's the energy of the Two of Pentacles. This is maintaining balance about your spiritual world as well as your material world and learning how to bring those two worlds together in your manifestations for your highest good. Beautiful energy. All right, Gemini, let's go ahead and take a look at your week ahead. Looking at the week ahead for Gemini. And three shuffle spirit. What does Gemini need to know? And knowledge. Wisdom. And perfect self-expression. I'm being drawn to this inner strength. And it's almost like your heart is being cracked open. Your soul is being cracked open with that moon energy. In order for you to really dig down deep and resolve some of those underlying shadows. The first card that you have coming out, look at this. This is the day on Monday that you're really gonna have to make some decisions. You're gonna have to put some priorities and things in order. This is planning. This could also be creating a plan, you know, getting a project together, creating a plan, creating a, a business proposal, anything that you're actually planning and organizing how you're gonna see it through or the steps that you'll take to bring it into fruition. The world is in your hands. Any and everything that you want to manifest out of that Ace of Pentacles is available to you. So just plant those seeds wisely, you know, put together the plan. The master plan is what Spirit just said. Put together that master plan that's bringing you into that fulfillment. On Tuesday, you're moving away from conflict. Maybe this is an internal conflict that I'm feeling. This is also the energy of Aries and Scorpio, which talks about putting an end to old issues, conflicts or challenges and starting a brand new. One of the things that I often say when I see the Ace of, I mean, the Six of Swords come up is although we're moving away from the conflict, right? As you notice, she still has or they still have all six of the swords in the boat with them. Just be cautious that you're not bringing over lingering energy with you as you're trying to move forward. You know, because this is also settling your emotions and your desires here. But you don't want to bring any emotional turmoil or conflicts with you. You know, you want to release that energy. You don't want to continue to carry it with you so it can fester. And then it turns into the seven of swords, right? The um, self-deception, self-sabotage, fear. And then it turns into the eight of swords if you continue to carry it with you. Where you feel stuck, stagnant, unable to move, trapped in your own mind and thoughts, worried. And then it turns into the eight of, you know, you see where I'm going? The eight of swords where, you know, the nine of swords is like it just keeps adding up if you don't release it. So really here at the six of swords is where we need to release any of the negative mindset and mind thinking and move forward and away from it. You're moving into an opera. You have to make a judgment call on Wednesday. There's something that you're going to have to make a judgment call against to either allow or not allow in your life. So there, there's a judgment call on you. Either you're being called or you're being asked to step up in a certain way. This is your calling, calling for you. Or you have to make a judgment call against someone or something. This is also the energy of are you being too judgmental right now in your life? Are you being too judgmental against yourself? and two judgments so against others and how is that resonating for you and how is that pre preventing you from moving into your highest and fullest potential you know it's all about that pluto energy of self-liberation and self-awareness but it's also an inner calling and a transformation but whatever it is it's causing you to be accountable accountable for your own thoughts as well as your own actions these are your thoughts and these are your actions because wherever Focus goes, energy flows. And so you're realizing that. On Thursday, the Sagittarius energy, things are being birthed, right? You're in this process of creating and co-creating with spirit and source. Although you don't see everything that's going on, right? We can't see the belly, the baby technically through the belly, but we know that the baby's in there. They're growing, they're maturing, they're advancing. They're getting to the stage of being ready to be shown and birthed out to the world. And that's the phase that you're in right now. So right now you just need to continue to stay organized, 
continues to stay balanced and continues to stay focused on what it is that you want to manifest because you are in the empress energy of love, abundance, acceptance, and prosperity. And you're in the energy of creation. So you're creating right now. So be very mindful of your thoughts. Be very mindful of where you spend your time, energy, and attention because you're in this energy of creating. So you're either going to be creating positive or creating negative, but we're still always in the, in the energy of manifesting every single day. You may feel stuck or stagnant. You may feel as if those things aren't moving forward. You may want to travel or move, but you feel as if though you don't have the means or the resources, there's something that you feel as if though you're lacking. But with the uh, Empress energy here, it says that you lack nothing. You have everything that you need to succeed. The only thing that you need to release is control. You want to control how it comes to you, right? So it's like, as you say, um, I want, I want a million dollars, but then you think you're going to get the million dollars by working a nine to five, right? But yet the universe is calling you to step into your purpose and to actually show up in your fullest form and to do the good work, right? When I speak of the good work, it's your purpose. So you're being called to answer the call to step into your purpose, but you say, no, I don't want to do that. You know, that that I, that's going to require me to do too much work. You know, I just rather stick at the nine to five and it'll take me 50 years to make the million dollars versus if I step up into my purpose and I get in alignment with source and what it is that I'm meant to be doing to help to raise the collective consciousness for all, then you'll get to that goal a lot faster because blessings and abundance is your birthright. You're meant to be blessed. You're meant to be abundant. You're meant to have all of your dreams and aspirations come true. But you need to relinquish the sense of control and what that control looks like in a lot of ways with this hanged man energy is just simply you releasing and letting go and allowing things to come in naturally, having a higher perspective, being enlightened and surrendering to the purpose change and prosperity. What is no longer serving your greatest good and your highest emanation? That's what you need to make the judgment call about. Yes, you may be emotionally tied or connected to it, and it's very hard for you to release it and let it go. But in order for you to evolve, there's this sense of needing to sacrifice something for the greater good. What's the energy that's coming in for you on Saturday? You have the energy of abundance, prosperity, self-love, self-nurturance. You have the energy of self-love that's coming through here twice. It's saying nurture yourself, support yourself, believe in yourself that you can achieve. This is sitting in the energy of luxury, having all of your, you know, having everything that you want, stability, luxury, beautiful clothes, beautiful house, jewelry, you know, just all of the luxuries that life can afford to offer to anyone in abundance and in bliss. But it's also you sharing that abundance. You are nurturing and supporting those around you. The Empress is a nurturer. She's the mother figure of the of the tarot. She supports and nurtures and uplifts others. So you could be stepping into your purpose might be a counselor or a therapist or a healer or a doctor or a nurse or something where you're in the healing and loving and helping professions like a social worker or something in that nature, a emotional or mental health worker, someone that helps to bring in balance, love and stability in the lives of others that help others to become enlightened so that they too can see their own path. And what's coming in in the day of Leo? There you go with that stuck, stagnant energy again, feeling as if though you can't succeed, feeling as if though you can't move forward, feeling as if though you don't deserve all of the blessings that are coming in for you, being stuck back in your own headspace again. Remember when I said, don't carry those thoughts and negative energy with you moving forward because you'll eventually get to self-sabotage and then you'll get stuck. And that energy of feeling as if though you can't move forward. Why? Because you're too busy thinking about the past sorrows, the past deceptions, the past losses, everything that has absolutely nothing to do with the now. The divine wants you to be now focused, prosper, now focused and worry about 
what's going on from this point forward, leaving the past in the past, because as long as you think about the past, you'll continue to create more of the past. And just remember, you're always in the process of creation, rather you realize it or not. That has been your energy update, Gemini. Thank you so much for allowing me to read for you. I am so grateful. If you haven't already done so, please hit that like button and help these videos to circulate. Share them to those that you think could benefit from these messages and subscribe and become a part of the Soul Joiner family where we learn, grow and expand together, working to raise the collective consciousness one unique soul at a time. And that unique soul is you. Until our soul paths cross again, Soul Joiners, I am wishing you love, peace, blessings, happiness and abundance be on to you. Love and light. Namaste.